Let's see how to use the mid function here to return a value from a cell. So I'm going to start with using the cell function again, and I want to get the address, comma, of this cell here, where I start counting free cash flow. So it's cell E40. Now over here, I've been able to pull 40 out of that, but I now need to pull the E out, and that's a little bit trickier. So I'm going to use the equals mid function. This is the text that I want to extract it from, comma, the starting number. So where do I want it to start? I want it to start at the second, the second number in the series, comma, and I want to pull uh, the one column number. Now, if your spreadsheet is so large that you would have uh, double digit column numbers, then that's going to add a layer of complexity above and beyond this. But for now, this should work. And in most financial analysis, that should work. Getting all the way out to column Z is quite a big spreadsheet. So I would say in most cases, you're safe with just using the formula as it is here. And now what you can do is you can actually combine these. Uh, and by doing that, you will select the cells here. I'm going to paste that. And where it's referencing N42, I'm actually now going to copy this, go into here and delete N42 and paste that formula. So now what I've done is I've just kind of skipped a step by combining them.